Fun arithmetics. Problem 1. Max has 10 cards with digits 0, 1, 2, etc. up till 9. He can arrange these cards into different 10 digit numbers. What is the greatest number he can get? Hint. The greatest number should start with the greatest digit, 9. What should the second digit be? Answer. The second digit will be the greatest of the rest, i.e. 8, and so on. The greatest number is 9,876,543,210. Now try to say it yourself. Problem 2. A teacher has four cards with numbers. The sum of these numbers is equal to 8. When the teacher shows these cards to Mary and asks to multiply the numbers, Mary also gets 8. What are the numbers on the cards? The numbers could be equal. Answer. The numbers are 1, 1, 2 and 4. Problem 3. Jerry has four cards with digit 2. How can he arrange these cards to get 0, 1, 2, etc. up to 10? Jerry can use arithmetic operations addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Answer. 22 minus 22 equals 0. Can you get it differently? How can you get 1? 22 divided by 22 equals 1. 2 divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2 equals 2. 2 plus 2 plus 2 divided by 2 equals 3. 2 times 2 plus 2 minus 2 equals 4. And so on. 2 times 2 plus 2 divided by 2 equals 5. 2 times 2 times 2 minus 2 equals 6. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. 22 divided by 2 and minus 2 equals 9. 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 equals 10. Problem 4. Can you put in parentheses so that this expression, 7 times 9 plus 12 divided by 3 minus 2, will be equal to 23. Come on, you can do it! Answer. 23 equals, open parentheses, 7 times 9 plus 12, close parentheses, divided by 3, Minus 2. Problem 5. Can you put parentheses in the same expression to make it equal to 75? Answer. 75 equals, open parentheses, 7 times 9 plus 12, close parentheses, divided by open parentheses, 3 minus 2, close parentheses. Problem 6. Put numbers into this table so that the sum of any three adjacent cells equals 15. Sound stuff? Here's a hint. The number in each cell must be the same as the number in any cell three slots away from it. Can you see why? Answer. Let's fill the table step by step. First fill in the sixes. Then fill in the fours. Now, six plus four plus which number equals fifteen? Right, it's five. So the remaining unknown numbers must be five. 